Hi, I'm Jimmy, and we are from the Carnegie Mellon University. So what we are working on now is a Swift feedback. It's a, um, it's a persuasive uh, computing system that uh, helps people to be more aware of the environment, and also it gives you candy when you do something really good. So it gives you candy when you yeah. do something good? Oh, that's the Sweet Feedback. Yeah, that's Sweet Feedback. It's like a credit system. Awesome. It gives you the credit when you do something. Uh, what we're building right now. So now, the candy machine also have the ability to sense the environment. Uh, because we install several sensors, um, as you can see. So we have temperature sensor, microphone, and light sensor. So, and now it shows on page that you, that can help people to be aware of the environment. Uh, so if uh, if you found that it's too noisy and you, you cannot put up with that, you can report a problem and you can get candy. Wonderful. Uh, so this is a device that um, that senses the, uh, the 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 qualities of the environment yeah, yeah, yeah. and and gives feedback in the form of candy. Uh, yeah. Let me show you. So, For example, it's too noisy right now. Ah, there's a strong <laughs> spelling. Noisy. You can submit. And you get a candy okay. right away. Yeah. So, are there automatic sensors or does it um, rely on people noticing something and reporting into the system? Yeah, it reminds people to, um, to yeah, you know. To okay, to so things. it's an incentive system for people to be aware of their environment, yeah, yeah, to exactly. report it into the system so that the managers of the environment um, yeah, exactly. can know about that and, and their reward is, in, in this case, m and Yeah, it's a tangible, it's real. Awesome. Well, children will love it. Uh, great. <laughs> So tell me, Jimmy, what is the next uh, big goal for Sleep Feedback? So now we are looking for more possibility for the Gamma machine. Uh, for example, we have a mobile app which detects uh, uh, the transportation, po love transportation mode of uh, people. So you play, uh, for example... The mobile app can detect the transportation yeah, yeah. mode so of a person? Like this. So, um, when you start to you know, use the app, it's, it's uh, now collecting the GPS data and to see if you are walking or you, if you are biking or you are driving or you are playing a bus. I see. Yeah, yeah. so it, it provides some mobility. So if you go to the office by car, you, you may get the fewer uh, sweepy back. But if you walk to the office, that means you are doing well to the, you know, to the environment. Great. So now, so what kind of sweep can be your mobile app do? Delivered to you. What's sweet? Oh, yeah. So um, you will, we will send the data to the server. So when you arrive at the office and uh, you connect the sweet feedback, you get a candy right away. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. <laughs> now tell me, what are the um, systems integration challenges here? Well, it's, uh, it contains of uh, three parts. The first part is about the hardware and the software running on the machine. And we also have a client app and also the server side. So the three problems must uh, coordinate well so that the system won't crash. <laughs> right. And uh, we also have a lot of uh, like a uh, activity recognition unit uh, to detect uh, how you behave. So yeah, that's uh, another part. So these are uh, yeah kind of difficult. <laughs> Well, and you, you hooked into a, a, a fun idea, and I look forward to seeing where you go with it. Um, do you have any advice for other innovative people? Um, yeah, I think uh, they should give people something really real and to motivate them to you know do good things. Uh, because it's an incentive way, so they can try it. <laughs> it's nice to to integrate the virtual world with the real world, yeah, yeah, and to have real feedback. 